Tonight, News 5 Investigates has a warning about an online Native American jewelry business that's accused of ripping off consumers and also making false promises to charity. Investigative reporter Patrick Nelson joins us in studio with a look at what's been uncovered, Patrick. Elizabeth, we want to give folks a look. This is the website for Native American Soul. And as we scroll down here, you can see they sell clothing and Native American style jewelry. And people are saying that they are ordering items from this website. And sometimes they're not only just getting the wrong items, but sometimes nothing at all. At all. And they can't even get their money back. But it doesn't end there. We're going to go full screen for you here. If you go to the About Us tab, I'm going to try to make this bigger. You can see here, they say they stand for supporting Native American rights. And a portion of every sale goes to the Native American Heritage Association, a charity helping people living in poverty on reservations. That organization tells us they haven't seen a dime from Native American soul. Now our investigation uncovered this online business is using a Colorado Springs address while ripping off consumers and cheating that Native American charity. The business address is listed for a Native American soul here in Colorado Springs, and it led us to this mailing center near Dublin and Academy, another dead end in finding the people behind this website. The Better Business Bureau believes the people behind this site are working from Spain and the losses for shoppers are in the tens of thousands of dollars. I spoke with a Native American elder in Colorado Springs who says the way this company is doing business is hurting both consumers and the Native American people. You really don't realize what the poverty or, or the hurt or the, the harm that's done there to the people. You know, unless you go first time and you look for yourself and you see it, then you know. Tonight in our News 5 investigation, we will explain why experts believe this website chose a Colorado Springs address for its operation. Plus, I get an email response from the website. Now, in the meantime, again, you can catch this full investigation tonight at 10. But if you do want to help our Native American neighbors, I've already posted a web story on our website, KOAA.com. And you can see the full list right here. You can go and find ways to help these folks that need it the most. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5 Investigates.